to young drug abusers and their families. With a growing aging and active population, the incidence of knee pain or osteoarthritis in Singapore is expected to rise. Data from the Health Ministry showed there were some 1,680 knee replacement surgeries from January to August this year. Last year, it was close to 2,000 surgeries. But experts are recommending a non-surgical option which could potentially slow down the progression of osteoarthritis of the knee. Sarah Gross with more. The progressive wearing down of the cartilage bone lining leads to osteoarthritis. While it is the most common form of arthritis among the elderly, doctors say it is also a condition seen in younger patients due to their participation in sports. A local survey conducted among the elderly showed that many live with knee pain for five or more years without consulting a doctor. The survey found that when it came to undergoing surgery, only one out of ten respondents were open to this option. Now, some of the concerns respondents had towards surgery was fear of pain, how much it would cost, and how long it would take to recover. The most common prescribed non-operative treatment is painkillers. But experts say there is a safe alternative with hyaluronic acid, or HA injections, which replaces poor quality joint fluid in the knee. Painkillers, if you take them for... A sustained period of time, sustained prolonged period of time, side effects such as uh, disturbances to your stomach, to your kidneys and to your heart starts to come in. So hyaluronic acid injection is a uh, what we call a locally delivered uh, treatment. It only goes into your knee. We might actually be able to prevent some people from ever having to have knee replacement. And there are studies now that show HA injections can have an effect, just one injection can have an effect that lasts as long as 40 months. However, doctors recommend that losing weight and modifying high-impact activities should take priority before HA injections. Coming up after the break on Singapore Tonight. The mandatory giveaway to buses scheme will be